Friday night in Payson, the Longhorns took on the Sholo Cougars in the 3A East opener. The Horns stopped Sholo on their first offensive series, and they were on the Cougar 35 when the Cougars' Phil Odell was able to strip the ball out of Ridge Hallinar's hands to stop the drive with eight minutes left in the first quarter. Sholo's tricky offense out of the shotgun seemed to work for a while, but the Longhorn D started to figure it out but the Cougars had the Longhorns backed up throughout the second quarter. Nick Herring makes a nice effort on a high snap and is able to get the punt off. The Horns stopped another Sholo drive at 6.41 left in the first half, deep in pace and territory. Again, Nick Herring is back to punt, and this time a low snap, and Nick is forced to redirect his kick, which comes up very short. The Cougars were able to take it 23 yards in four plays for the first score of the game, with 3.31 left in the half. Payson struggled to get its running game going, and Ridge Hallinar was intercepted with 1.31 left in the half. The Longhorn defense bucked up again, disrupting the Cougars' passing game. And when Brian Burke and Matt Wilson sacked quarterback Jared MacArthur, it seemed as if the Horns would get away at the half, down only seven. But it was a penalty that killed that notion. Too many players on the field. It was a net change of 23 yards and put the ball on the pace of five yards on Sholo took it in and the score was 14 to nothing. Payson tried to mount a last-minute drive, but Allen are making a couple of great runs. But time ran out in the half. It was time for the homecoming festivities with number 44, B.J. Hill, elected homecoming king. B.J. came out in the second half and made a nice stop on front coverage. The Longhorn defense seemed to have solved the problem caused by the Cougars' misdirection on offense, but Payson was unable to mount a serious offensive drive. Ryan Burke and Matt Wilson putting pressure on MacArthur. He made the mistake of throwing the ball in David Carlin's door. David intercepted it, and the Horns had the ball on Cholo's 31, with 3.33 left in the third quarter. And with 1.47 left in the quarter, Nick Alexander takes it six yards to pay dirt, and Josh Bruins' PAT made it 14-7. On the ensuing kickoff, a great kick and great coverage by Nick Goodman is negated when the official blows the play dead and calls a touchback, bringing the ball out to the 20. So the Horns defense dug in again to stop Cholo, and in the fourth quarter, they stopped the Cougars cold. With 10.39 left in the game, Cholo punted, and Troy Brown made a nice return but Payson eventually punted the ball back to the Cougars. By this time, the Payson boys had totally solved the Sholo offense. Burke and Savage on this play. And now, the Cougars seem to be confused. Troy Brown on the blitz. Sacks MacArthur for a big loss. The horns were driving, and when Nick Alexander took it to the Cougars' 15-yard line with less than two minutes left in the game, it looked good for the horns. But number 20, Styles Reedhead, was able to strip the ball from Alexander on the next play, and the Cougars were able to hang on for the win. Final score, Sholo 14, Payson 7.